Hello again, and welcome back to Operations Management. In this session, we're going to do an entire problem on inventory. Up until this point, we've been doing inventory in pieces, and now we're going to pull it all together with a single problem. Let's see what we have. The MM Pod Company is a retail chain that specializes in camping equipment. They carry a special tent designed for high altitudes, and the demand is generally normally distributed at 20 per week with a standard deviation of three. The store is open 52 weeks a year. The cost of each tent is $150, and the holding cost, including opportunity and physical holding, is 15%. The ordering cost is $55. The lead time for receiving a shipment of new tents is six weeks and is fairly constant. The only want a 5% chance of a stockout. Now, using this information, what we're going to do is calculate the optimal order quantity, the safety stock, the reorder point, the average inventory, and the average time a unit spends in inventory. So we're going to take that problem and we're going to take a look at the beginning part of it because that beginning part is giving us basic information to calculate the optimal order quantity. We know that the demand is normally distributed at 20 per week with a standard deviation of three, and that the store is open 52 weeks a year. The cost of each tent is $150, and the holding cost is 15%, and the ordering cost is $55. So we calculate the annual demand. From the 20 per week times 52 weeks a year, we have 1,040. Next, we know the cost being $150, we have to calculate the holding cost. That's 15% times that $150, so our holding cost per unit per year is $2,250. Our setup or ordering cost is $55, so now with these particular variables in place, we can use the EOQ equation, the square root of 2RS over H. We plug in the numbers and we determine that our optimal order quantity is 71.3 units. Now our next step is trying to figure out what the safety stock is. To do that, we have to piece together some information. We know they only want a 5% chance of a stock out. We also know that the demand is normally distributed at 20 per week with a standard deviation of three, and that the lead time is constant at six weeks. Knowing that the lead time is constant, we only have to deal with the variability in the demand. So we're going to calculate the lead time demand by taking the number of weeks it takes for those tents to arrive, which is six, and multiplying it by the 20 per week that we use. So our lead time demand is 120. Next, we have to calculate the standard deviation of the lead time demand. The variability is only in the demand, so we're going to take the square root of the lead time and multiply it by the standard deviation of the demand. So the square root of six is 2.45. We multiply it by the standard deviation of three, and we get 7.39. Our service level is the next thing we need to calculate. We know that we don't want to have more than a 5% stock out, so to get to the service level, it's one minus the probability of a stock out, so we have a 95% service level. From this, we can now calculate the safety stock. We need to figure out the Z statistic associated with the 95% service level. So using Excel, we determined that it is 1.645. So now calculating our safety stock, Z times the standard deviation of the lead time demand, gives us that 1.645 times 7.39 says that our safety stock should be 12.09, but we always have to round up to the next whole unit, so it should be 13. So we have the safety stock, we have the lead time demand, so now we can calculate our reorder point. We have the lead time demand of 120, our safety stock of 13, so when we get down to a total of 133 tenths in our inventory, that's when we're going to place our order. Calculating the average inventory says we take Q over two, 
which is the amount we order, we divide it in half, and then we add in the safety stock. That's because we never ever get down to zero when we're using safety stock. So now our average inventory is our ordering amount, which is 71.3 divided by two. We add 13, so it's 48.65. Now, how long does an average unit spend in inventory? Well, this is where we use Little's Law, I equals R times T. We have the value for the average inventory, which we just calculated. We have the value for the throughput, which is the annual demand of 1,040. So now we calculate that the time in inventory is I over R, which is 0 0.0478 years, but we have to convert that to weeks. So we multiply it by 52 weeks. So it's 2.43. So we pull it all together and we were able to answer all of those questions from that basic problem. The next session is going to be talking about what happens when we aggregate warehouses. What happens if we bring all of our inventory together instead of having them in separate places? I'll see you then.